starting our today's video from the car we are already driving to our next destination of today uh, yesterday we spent the day in Bordeaux Bordeaux is not my favorite uh, city of France uh, I just feel like it lacks something for me it lacks a little bit of charm it is also not as tidy and clean city as for example Dovi is and it has lots of homeless people on the streets, suspicious people on the streets but uh, Bordeaux has really lots of restaurants, lots of bars, places to eat, to grab some snacks yesterday evening when we were walking around the city uh, we've seen so many places to eat and everything was full so August is uh, a super hot season here lots of tourists lots of locals which are on vacation uh, so everybody is out having fun and eating out uh, and for sure it is hard to find a table to sit uh, around 8 o'clock in the evening if you want to have dinner out we decided to go for Landricot yesterday evening as you have seen it was delicious but it was quite a struggle the whole uh, the whole experience was quite a struggle i knew landricot way before uh, i have been there once when i was studying in bordeaux and i know i knew that it was a good restaurant i knew that this meat is delicious and everybody admits that that, that is a good restaurant even locals go there and tourists go there everybody goes there so i wanted to come to lantricot when uh, we decided to come to border with my husband and you can't book a table in lantricot it is only possible to get in if you stand in the line that's the rule which i don't really agree with after all the meat was delicious it was good the sauce was good the potatoes were good but um for me Le Relais de l'Antricot, I think it is the correct name of the similar restaurant in Paris, was better. The whole experience, it really matters to me when you get in the restaurant without a problem, you get to choose a table that you like on the terrace or inside, uh, the service is fast, the food is as delicious as in Bordeaux. It, everything is super smooth and amazing there uh, and in Bordeaux it's all like a struggle so if you really want to go to Bordeaux Lantricot you should come 30 minutes before the service then you will get in faster than we did yesterday but overall I don't think that the struggle is worth it I think the last time that I have been to Bordeaux was eight years ago and almost nothing changed there uh, the city stay the same, but I noticed there are more shops there right now to go shopping, which is nice. Like there are lots of um, famous brands there to buy clothes, shoes, uh, stuff like this. Well, my tip when you are in Bordeaux uh, is not to go to the St. Catherine Street. St. Catherine Street is the biggest and the longest street of shops there. There is like a Zara, in Chenam, Sephora there. there. But this street is always very, very crowded and there are always pickpockets there, there are always homeless people there, there is like a big crowd there which is not uh, comfortable, where it is, it is not comfortable to walk there and it is not safe for your bags, for your belongings. So if you don't uh, need urgently like H&M, Zara, Sephora, don't go to this street. There is a bakery in Bordeaux which is called La Micaline. Uh, it doesn't, I don't think it has tables inside in any of them. They just um, sell their pastries uh, to take away. But personally, I really like their soft cookies. For me, these are these and Mark Spencer soft cookies are the best cookies I've ever tried. I really like their white chocolate soft cookie. I got one yesterday for myself. So that is my recommendation for sweet stuff in Bordeaux. Our hotel was overall fine for us, I think it was worth the price. The Stay City Apart Hotel Bordeaux, uh, the parking there was really good. This morning we woke up and it was raining, we had to get out our umbrella and we walked to get some croissants for breakfast. We, because of rain, we didn't walk far, didn't look for any special boulangerie. We just uh, stopped by the closest one to our hotel, 
got a few croissants, coffee, tea. The plan for today is to first we are going to the oyster farm and today will be my first time at the oyster farm i really want to try their oysters enjoy the um, atmosphere and just experience the place and then we're going to biarritz i've already been to biarritz once briefly i really liked it the city is i would say it's a little bit similar to Dovi, Dovi regarding the atmosphere but maybe my opinion will change today we'll see so we will discover Biarritz and then head to our hotel which uh, is tonight going to be in Toulouse we're gonna stay in Toulouse tonight and then tomorrow we are heading to Provence and we're going to spend a few day, days in Provence I'm really excited about it because I really wanted to come to Provence for a long time and uh, I have never uh, really stayed there for a night and now it's going to happen so very excited about it the jacket that I'm wearing is my jacket from the jean jacket from Sandro I had it for four years I think um, here I have my Ralph Lauren teddy bear t-shirt my I have my jeans on and we are ready for a little bit chilly but still a nice day next to the ocean in France. arrived to Biarritz. It was such a challenge to find the parking here. We arrived here at, I think 15 minutes to 1 and we managed to park our car at 2 o'clock here in the afternoon. All of the underground parkings were completely full. We kept uh, on going from one underground parking to the other underground parking and every, every parking was full. The streets are super narrow and tiny. They are full of cars so it's like um, uh, the whole of us, the city center here in Biarritz is a traffic jam, like a constant traffic jam. But we managed to park our car for more than one hour driving around the city and after we got out of the parking we forgot all of these problems straight away because the views here are absolutely outstanding. Uh, but we were really hungry so we got to our lunch spot straight away. For lunch today we chose a Spanish restaurant because we wanted to have a little change for today and it is called Chisteria e Coutillage. I will write the name of the restaurant on the screen. We ordered a paella for two and we're gonna enjoy our Spanish meal at the moment. Bon appetit! We 
have just finished our lunch here in Biarritz and that paella was the most special paella I had in my life because it had at the same time seafood inside like shrimps, mussels and uh, some other seafood shells which I don't know how to call them and also it had chicken and also it had chorizo and also it had uh, pieces of white fish so it was really full of taste there were some peppers inside some peas uh, and rice of course so it was really special one my husband really liked it I liked it too but my favorite lasagna is uh, lasagna but my favorite paella is still in Barcelona but it was a good change of cuisine for this today's lunch right now we're gonna walk around find something sweet for dessert and enjoy Biarritz I hope you like my scarf I put in my hat this one is from H&M from this year's collection my sunglasses are from uh, Saint Laurent and everything else I've already told you about let's go the place which we liked uh, and took the pastry out there uh, the one we liked was called Paris Gourmandis Basque uh, it seems like it's an old one and so what we're gonna start with is a pan au chocolat uh, in uh, here in this part of France they call it chocolatine then also we have they also we have a little financier with um, with the nuts here this little this little financier is then we also took some local local specialities which we never tried before so these two they look a little bit like macarons but these are not macarons these are I think they're called shushu or something like this here so we have one the one coffee one and one uh, noisette this is nuts and then the other local specialties that we took are called Gato Basque. It is like cake of the Basque country, that is where we are right now. And those look this way. We took one with nuts and one with cream inside. Gonna try them and see how they taste.
back in the car we are on our way to our hotel already it is 5 30 right now and we're supposed to be in a hotel in two hours something like that uh, as i said we're staying in toulouse today and Biarritz, uh, to sum it up, Biarritz was really good. We were really lucky with the weather. As I said this morning, the weather was supposed to be uh, rainy, cloudy and cold. And in the end, it was sunny, warm, warm. There was a light breeze from the ocean, which felt wonderful. So we, this weather really helped us to enjoy Biarritz. Uh, we had a nice lunch. We got some sweet stuff, which we which we add. Uh, some of it we add next to the beach. Some of it we are taking with us to the hotel to eat uh, tonight. In the end, I would say that we liked Biarritz that much that we would like to come back here again for a little vacation, to have some time to swim in the ocean, to enjoy the beach, to see the city even more to eat in more places that they have and they have a lot they have a lot of bakeries and restaurants they have a lot of shops to go shopping so i think Beirut is a place which really deserves a visit and which deserves more than one day if you want to really relax there and uh, take some time uh, at the beach i tried uh, the temperature of the sea water uh, of the ocean water uh, today i walked fast to the beach and tried it with my hand and it felt really warm there were really a lot of people in the ocean so i think it was it was comfortable for if you are like me if you like when the water in the ocean or the sea is really warm like more than 20 to 23 degrees uh, celsius uh, then this ocean will be warm enough for you and well that is it for the biarritz it is a it is a luxurious resort i think uh, i don't think it is a cheap one uh, so staying there would probably not be a budget option but i think it is worth it i don't know the prices yet but i had i have a feeling like this uh, for the parking that uh, where we parked our car for a little bit more than two hours we paid four euros regarding the restaurants and the bakeries i would say that the prices are um, not higher than in other french cities not as high as paris for example and uh, the beach is of course free and swimming in the ocean is free and all of these are amazing views are free so now on the way to toulouse and i will see you tomorrow when we are going to be in provence i am very excited about tomorrow's lunch because tomorrow we are going for lunch to a very very famous place called uh, bistro du paradou I think that is the correct name. Uh, that is one of the most famous restaurants in Provence. I've read about it in the book of Peter Mayle. I've seen it. other um, bloggers go there and it has tons of good reviews online. So hopefully it's going to be really delicious. We'll see tomorrow.